Activist and councillor Cleo Lake is calling on the government to instigate reparations for the UK's role in the slave trade and acknowledge the impact felt by communities to this day. She says that further community investment is vital in the fight for equality, but is concerned that grassroots organisations in Bristol have been left severely underfunded and under-resourced. I think it's important to stress, first of all, that this has really come about through grassroots activism. So there are a number of campaigners who've been calling for reparations for some time, or should I say building momentum towards it. Some of the key demands of the campaign are to have this all-party parliamentary commission of inquiry into truth and reparatory justice. So that is a lobby towards the government to form this commission, which has not been done before. So it's a new concept, really, but the idea is to have the grassroots activists and the highest level of government, if you like, come around a table and figure out how reparations will be played out. That is not to say that efforts made by the current administration are not worthwhile because there have been a number of initiatives instigated by the mayor and deputy mayor that are steps in a positive direction. What I also wanted to do is try to make it tangible because a lot of people are on a journey of understanding what this actually means and it is not just about a payout. That is an element of education, that the monetary element shouldn't be played down because it is going to be part of it. But it's more than that, it's, it's trying to heal the harm that's been done and continues to be done and trying to repair from it 